Hey YouTube, Matty J Mania here, and welcome to my Quest for Complete Part 4. I've had a huge week in Nintendo collecting. It wasn't on purpose, it just kind of happened this way. I pretty much expected this week to get about 12 or 13 games, but as it turned out, uh, at the yard sale this weekend, I found a lot of Nintendo games, uh, like a giant lot, and it was so cheap. It was over 200 games, and I paid almost a dollar a game. It was unbelievable. Um, there were lots of great titles in there, lots I already had, but I did, out of the 200 games, I managed to get 25 that I needed, which is just huge where I'm at in this point of my collecting. Now, on top of that, I've been kind of working out a trade with this guy, for a while, we've both been really relaxed about it, um, but it went through, and it went through yesterday. So on top of the 25, I got another, I think, 15 or 16 games from him. And then the original lot of 12 games came in. So essentially, I got almost 50 Nintendo games this week. So overwhelming. Um, I like to sit and play all my games. So I'm like, whoa, slow down, we gotta stop. So I'm like kind of going through and playing them all now. Um, at least, I'm not taking a break. I mean, if the opportunity to get games I need is there, I'm going to take it. I'm just not as actively seeking them out at this moment. The last time I left you, I was at 590 games. So that's where we're going to start now, at 590. Because I got so many games, I am actually going to just show a quick little montage, just going through a bunch of the games real quick, and then we'll come back and I'll show you some of the harder harder to find games not better because there are a lot of good games in the lot you'll see so uh, what I'll show at the end isn't necessarily the best games play play wise playable playability yeah um, they're more the harder to find more uncommon or rare games enjoy Welcome back. So I have about eight or so games here to show on top of all of those other games that I just got. So I'm not going to talk about all of these in detail. I will talk about some of them in detail. These are the games that I've been trying to get uh, a little bit more than some of the more common games, that kind of thing. So they are Cliffhanger. The next game I already had, however, this is the other version of it, and that is Impossible Mission 2. This is the SEI version. Here's a game I will probably only ever play one time, just because I'm not a fan of this style of game, and that is Jimmy Connors Tennis. I could really... Yeah, I don't care at all about tennis games. Sorry if you do. I'm sure they're great, if that's your thing. Just not mine. Next is Race America. Now, I did play this game for a little while. I have to say, I am not a fan of this game. I'm not that big into racing games as I mentioned before. However, this game, you have to switch your gears, which is okay, except to switch your gears, you have to take your thumb off the accelerator and then push up and accelerate at the same time. It's like a split screen where you're racing. There's just so many things about this game 
that I'm not a fan of. I know it's hard to find, um, but I would not recommend it as far as the gameplay. The next game I have is Power Punch 2. Now, the funny thing about this game is it's actually supposed to be the successor to Punch-Out! or Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! I think your name in it is like Mark Tyler, like MT, Mike Tyson. And you you were such a good boxer that you beat up everyone in the world and now you box against aliens. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, it sort of plays like Punch-Out, but not as good by any means. Um, if you look at the way Punch-Out plays, I mean, it just makes sense. It's really smooth. This is not. It's not smooth. It. I don't know. I was excited to get it um, just because it's so cool. But, I mean, if you want to play a boxing game, stick with Punch-Out. Stay away from this one. The next two games I got, and there's only one left after these, is um, they're both Color Dreams games. The one I didn't like at all, and the other one I really liked. Um, first, the one I didn't really like, and I, again, I'm not going to say it right. It's Piraticus Conflict. Probably not saying it right. Um, it's very similar to Asteroids. It's just not as good. Like, if I wanted to play this game, I would just play Asteroids. The other Color Dreams game that I found surprisingly enjoyable is... Pasterminator, the Western Exterminator. Now the gameplay on this game is extremely simple. Um, you basically are an exterminator with a mallet. Um, you, it reminds me of like you're an, like almost like an old cartoon villain. You actually might be an old cartoon villain. I don't really know the background of where Pasterminator came from. However, um, like I said in other videos, usually unlicensed games, my standard is kind of lowered. And this definitely exceeded it. It was a lot of fun. You walk around with a mallet, like smashing things, smashing mice and rats and bugs and everything, and it's it's a lot of fun. Um, I would definitely recommend it if you can get it for a good price. Um, I think it's a little pricey. Not exactly sure. It came in a big lot of games, so I don't know what it goes for individually. But if you find it somewhere locally and cheap, grab it, pick it up. Uh, it's an enjoyable game. Now, the very last one, it is the last big licensed Nintendo game I needed, other than stadium events. Um, and pretty much after this game, it's like everything is kind of downhill. Everything's reasonably priced, so I'm pretty excited about it. And that game is Power Blade 2. Really cool game. It's made by the king of the late release Nintendo games, Taito. The gameplay on it is great. Um, platformer. Uh, it's, it reminds me a lot of like a Mega Man type game, um, except you're throwing boomerangs. Uh, everything about it's great. I would strongly recommend this game to anyone who is looking for a really good Nintendo game. The only thing is it comes with a pretty, pretty hefty price tag. So if you're wondering whether this game is good or not, it is. It's a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend it. Um, unfortunately, it is pretty expensive. So you have the good and the bad there. Now that you saw everything I've got this past week, I am now currently at 647 Nintendo games. That's licensed and unlicensed. I don't know which I need, like how many more licensed games and how many unlicensed. I just know I'm going for 768 and I have 647. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. Leave comments below. I try to respond to all comments. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate the support. Give me a subscription. You can see my videos. I try to do one a week. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.